Welcome to Tractor DJ. In this series of videos, we'll show you how to get started with Tractor DJ. The preparation tutorial will explain how to prepare your tracks by fixing beat grids and setting hot cues and hot loops. All the preparation steps explained in this tutorial can be synced with your latest version of Tractor Pro and vice versa. To learn more about setting up the collection sync, check out the Tractor Collection Sync tutorial video. Please note that setting up the collection sync before preparing your tracks in Tractor DJ is highly recommended. We've mentioned Tractor DJ's powerful sync engine before. Tractor DJ analyzes your whole collection in the background and detects the tempos and keys for every track. When detecting the tempo of a song, Tractor DJ will put a grid over this track, which will be synced to the grid of another one according to your master tempo and the position of the grid. A correctly set beat grid is essential in order for Tractor DJ to sync your tracks. 99% of the time, Tractor DJ will set this correctly. However, if you hear the two tracks are not running in sync properly, you can enter the beat grid mode to adjust the beat grid to make them sync perfectly. You can hear that the two tracks are running at the same tempo, but are slightly offset, so let's enter beat grid mode and fix this. Just move the waveform right into place on the grid until the tracks sound good together. Now the grid is fixed, and it sounds tight again. Additionally, you can double or half the tempo if it's been analyzed wrong. You can also tap in a beat and tempo using the tap mode right there. Further, you can actually scan around the track in increments of four beats to see if the beat grid is working the entire way, which in this case it is. So it looks like we're good. Once your grid is sorted, we can deal with hot cues and hot loops. So open up the hot cue drawer right here. Just like Tractor, we have eight hot cue slots, which can just be tapped to set hot cues right on the beat. When you press the hot loop now, it jumps there and activates it. The really cool thing here is the mentioned content synchronization between Tractor DJ and Tractor Pro via Dropbox. This syncs the track information, not the tracks, so all the track settings in your Tractor collection can be easily imported into Tractor DJ, and all your cue points and beat grids will already be there. It also works the other way around. If you have new tracks, you can prepare them in Tractor DJ and sync their data to your Tractor Pro collection later. To find out more about collection syncing, follow this link and watch the tutorial.